All right, now that you have all the photos in there, let's get ready to add the voiceover, or sometimes we call it the narration to these photos. All right, so let's get into it. Um, you can see there's my, my intro selfie, and then I go through all the photos. I have them in order. I don't know if I was clear in the previous video, but if you need to move a clip around or a photo, you just tap and hold on it, and then you just drag it to wherever you want and release it, and that's how you move clips and photos around. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to take all these transitions, these little guys right here between these photos or these clips. They look kind of like a bow tie. We need to change those to none. What it's doing is we're changing it from a dissolve to a no transition whatsoever. Transitions really help in telling the story and they're a nuisance if they're not needed, okay? And dissolve normally shows the passage of time in a video and we're not showing that. We're just going from one clip to another and we don't need to do it. iMovie automatically puts it in there to be all artistic, but we're not that way right now, so let's just uh, get them out of there. So go ahead and remove all those. We'll not remove them, but change them all to none, and then we'll move on. So go ahead and do that right now. Okay, now that you have all the photos in there, they're in the right order, that none of them have transitions between them, we are ready to record our first um, part there. Let me just check one thing right here and I talk. I would like to take a moment and explain what Kiva.org does. There's a lot of dead air. You can see here from my waveform, I got all this dead air here. Um, and I, I'm, so I'm gonna just trim that a little bit. I'm not gonna trim the front yet because we've not put the title on the front of it yet. So I'm just gonna leave that raw, but I'm gonna take this back edge here and just, oops. Where did that go to? Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's move back back to the front. Okay, take that back edge and I just want to drag it. I don't want to put it all the way right up next to where I, I stopped speaking right there. That's a little too close, but I'm going to just give it a little bit of space. And, and you can zoom in and zoom out. Do you see how I'm pinching here? I'm making that clip longer. I'm actually just magnifying it so I can get a really fine detail of it but I don't, let me just take it back to where it was. I think about right there. So I'm talking and then I've got a little bit of dead air and then I'm about to put my voice over on top of this clip right here. So uh, go ahead and put it, your playhead at the beginning of your clip, which naturally bounces and gets sucked into the end of the clip in front of it. So it's normal. And now let's get ready to record. Okay, so I have standard Apple headphones. These are the ones with the normal jack on it because I have an older iPad here and um, it, they, these all have microphones. Let me just put this underneath the camera here. You notice the little microphone symbol is written right on it. And it has, um, you know, the mic is somewhere in there. It's a little tiny hole that lets the sound in. I don't even know where they hide it. But anyhow, that is where there, it might be in there somewhere. That is where the microphone is at. So since that's only on the right ear, I'm only going to put the right ear in my um, ear there, ear canal and just let it hang down. Some people like bring it up here and do all these weird things. Don't, just let it hang, okay? And you don't want it rubbing against your chin or anything else because that'll all get picked up on the uh, recording that we're about to do. And let me just uh, plug it in here. Okay, and let me get my script. Clunk, clunk, clunk. If we don't have the microphone like we have there, you can go ahead and record it on just the microphones built into the iPad. And I think there's uh, there's like one or two or three, depending on what model of iPad you have, they have microphones kind of hidden all over them. And, and the dangerous thing there is that it will also pick up everything else in the room. They're really good microphones. And so they, they'll get you touching your countertop or the table, desk, whatever's in your room. Some you know, Touching the iPad, tapping on it, it'll pick that up as well. That's why I like to use this um, earbud microphone. That, it just is better that way. And But if you don't have it, you, you can survive without it. And I, the next thing is just find a quiet place to do recording, okay? Get a quiet room, get a quiet place in the school. Uh, kids try to turn in projects that they recorded on the bus ride home, you know, all these loud in the living room with the TV playing in the background. No, you can't hear what the person is saying. Let's make professional documentaries here. So we need a nice quiet room to do our recording. So I've got my script ready. And the first thing I need to say over the coffee farmer here is people around the world uh, work hard every day. So I'm looking at my script and there it is right there. People around the world work hard every day. Okay, so I got it. I'm just going to tap on the microphone right here. Tap it again because it didn't quite register. There we go. And you can hear it's picking me up. I'm going to just check to make sure it's getting this microphone by tapping on this microphone. 
yeah, it's definitely registering. So it's not using some other microphone on the iPad. It's for sure this microphone that's picking up. I'm gonna tap re record, it'll count down. I'll record what I'm gonna say, press stop, and then move on to the next one. Here we go. People around the world work hard every day. Now you couldn't hear it, but it was beeping in my ear. It was counting down, beep, 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 and then it started recording. Now let's take a look at a couple things here. Uh, first of all, I can I can retake this if I want to, but I like what I've got a recording. You see, I've got a little bit of dead air here. When that thing counts down, don't start talking right away. Again, just take a breath in and record. You can have a little bit of natural space in your talking between your clips. Okay, and then and then I've got some space after the clip here. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And I like to trim just a little bit off the end of it usually. And then I'm just going to trim the uh, image here just to match my audio clip. Take it right there. Okay, so now everything's the same length and we can go on to the next one here and then we'll go ahead and listen to them in just a, just a moment here. So the next one just is a short one. It just says uh, for their families and then the next one for a brighter future. So let's just go ahead and record those. For their families. Accept that one. <clears throat> Same thing, I'm just going to um, trim this clip to match it here. Mm. <laughs> there we go. And then the next one, I think for a brighter future, here we go. For a brighter future. Accept that one. Okay, so do you see what I'm doing here? This is really easy steps. Um, if you have really long uh, waiting times, you just do a retake of it. Uh, if you make a mistake, just do a retake. It's really easy to do. I'm going to show you by, I think, the longer one is coming up here. So let me show you what it's like to record a longer one here. So let me just finish this one here. Um, I think it's uh, for a chance to make a difference. Let me get that one. And I hear it, I hear myself talking in here because it lets you preview what you've just heard in here. And you don't get to hear that because you don't have headphones on, but here we go. For a chance to make a difference. Okay, accept that one. Let me trim that clip. I'm just trim it to match the audio. And then this is the longer one here. Let me go to page two. See, I'm, I'm cruising right along here. This is working out great. Okay, so this is the drought one here. And you see, it's quite a long one. So let's go, go ahead and record this one. But hard work isn't always enough in a world where opportunity is limited and resources are scarce. Uh, okay, you see I got a lot of extra at the end of that because I didn't stop it in time. So let's go ahead and trim the audio first. Trim that to about right there. Remember, I had like a little bit of space after it. And now this time I'm taking the photo. I'm making the photo a little bit longer on there. And now let's um, take a listen to what we have here. Oh, headphones are plugged in. That's why you're not hearing anything. Let's go ahead and unplug that. And what Kiva.org does. People around the world work hard every day. You see? For their families. Do you hear that microphone is so good? For a brighter future. For a chance to make a difference. But hard work isn't always enough in a world where opportunity is limited and resources are scarce. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be great. Are you already seeing how this is gonna be a really awesome project? Because it sounds professional, it looks professional. We're using high def images that are powerful images. We've got great recordings in a nice quiet environment with a nice microphone being used and really nice stuff. So go ahead and do those and, and do all the rest of them. And then in the next video, I'm gonna have all the recordings done and we're actually gonna move into post-production because production is really when you're pressing the record button. Post-production is all the cleanup and that kind of stuff. And, and usually it's kind of where editing is, but since we're doing at the same time, we're having to record these, we're kind of editing a little bit at the beginning. But uh, let's get into post-production and see where this video goes.